Welcome and hello. This is Caffeine Zombies with Bite Size News. Today is July 20th, 2024. You probably didn't hear, but the internet was down yesterday. Everywhere and yet nowhere. That's right, there were tons of outages that affected lots of businesses. Don't worry though, it's all better today and no one suffered a single problem. Unless you were counting on the airlines, a bank, or one of a multitude of other businesses. CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity firm, and they wanted to show people what would happen if they didn't continue buying their software and services, like the mafia used to. Kidding, they didn't. They actually showed off exactly why the saying, don't keep all your eggs in one basket, still very much has wisdom for us to learn. Anyhow, while you were standing at an airport due to being on one of the 42,582 flights worldwide that were canceled or delayed, you probably saw an X that the CEO of CrowdStrike was very sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, and also, in a separate issue starting the night before, you may not have been able to access Microsoft Excel. Equally terrible, I know, as Microsoft had a separate cloud service interruption. So how did this get this way? Starting with an idea in 2011 and founding the company in 2012, CrowdStrike was basically a company that wanted to do cybersecurity differently. Their goal wasn't to clean up or stop malware after it got on the computer, but to burrow deep, as they say, and stop breaches in the first place. They've been rather successful, and because of that, reliance on them has become worldwide by airlines, banks, and businesses of other types, including the DNC investigating the whole email scam. And that's what happened. A flaw in one of their updates resulted in a bug that shut the world down. Now, now you might be thinking... Is this what happened to Grinder during the week? Actually, no. There weren't any crashes of Grinder or downed websites, uh, but there was a huge uptick of usage around the RNC, which also happens at the DNC according to Grinder itself. And it's not the convention specifically, but the city surrounding the conventions. This isn't here to shame Republicans. I'm happy that our LGBT friends and family are accepted on both sides of the aisle, and that this, at least, has shown the Republican Party has grown in the past few years. Wait, 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 what's that? Page four of the Mandate for Leadership book, which is the Project 2025 guidebook, leading the conservative movement says, and I quote, the next conservative president must make the institutions of American civil society hard targets for woke culture warriors. This starts with deleting the term sexual orientation and gender identity, diversity, equity, and inclusion, gender, gender equality, gender equity, gender awareness, gender sensitivity, abortion, reproductive health, reproductive rights, and any other term used to deprive Americans of their First Amendment rights out of every federal rule, agency, regulation, contract, grant, regulation, and piece of legislation that exists. End quote. I guess they're okay with gay sex, but not gay people? If you're part of the LGBT community, or a woman, or just someone who thinks that women in the LGBT community are good people like everyone else, then you need to vote for the Democrat this cycle, whether you like their age or fiscal policy or not. If a Republican wins, your equality and protections will be deleted. Their words, not mine.